it is on you. <laughs> CU Boulder professor Johnson and I had a little fun while we were studying light. She surprised pupils at University Elementary with a harmless laser light. It's on you now. They were all confused about where the spot of light was coming from. But that's really not surprising because we can't see light as it travels. The beam of light leaving the laser is invisible until it hits an object and is reflected back to our eyes. So the kids seeing the spot of light have no idea where the beam is coming from. Later in her lab at CU, Professor Johnson showed me how to make a light beam visible as it travels. A pretty impressive setup here. What do we have? Well, we have a laser beam I'm going to turn on now. And you'll notice that... Okay, I see it at the source, and I see it reflected on the screen. If you want to see it travel from the source to the screen, take those chalky erasers and clap them over the beam. Right over it. Okay. Ah, I see the <laughs> There it is. An invisible ray of light travels in a straight line until something stops it. We can see this beam of light because some of it is hitting the chalk particles along its path, and they are reflecting or scattering it to our eyes. There's a lesson then in the red dot. People don't see the light until it's reflected off of something. Mm -hmm. And if they don't see the beam, then they're confused. So what is light? Well, Larry, we have to think about light differently than most things. Light has no mass. It's pure energy. Let me show you what I mean. If two pool sharks, like CU's keen-eyed chancellor Jim Corbridge and his sharpshooter partner, hit balls to exactly the same spot on a billiard table, the balls, which have mass, will collide knocking each other off course. But if they were to shoot two lasers in the same way, the light beams would pass right through each other. Since light has no mass, there's nothing to knock the laser light off course. So light only reflects when it hits something with mass. That's right, Larry.